Hi, this is Charles Borges de Oliveira with Borges Lettering. In this tutorial, we'll cover the three ways of getting the swatches, graphic styles, and actions of old stock into Adobe Illustrator. This video tutorial will cover the three steps listed in the supplied manual. So let's begin with step one. Okay, for step one, we're going to open up Adobe Illustrator, and we're going to go File Open, and locate the old stock folder and you'll notice inside the old stock folder there's actions, graphic styles, swatches, there's two PDFs and here's the old stock AI file that we're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and hit open and just say yes when the dialog box comes up. Okay so now we've got a blank artboard and in the swatches panel you'll notice that all the swatches are preloaded. That's what we want and also the graphic styles are all loaded as well so then all we have to do is go window actions and you'll notice a little drop down menu right here we're gonna go load actions and in the old stock folder there's an actions folder and if you open it you'll see seven folders here uh, each seven folders contains a different action here so I'm gonna go ahead and click old stock drop shadow minus outline and I'll click the small feature here and Illustrator starts loading up all the actions uh, for old stock drop shadow minus outline small okay now let's move on to step two okay for step two we'll show you how to manually load the swatches and graphic styles in Adobe Illustrator so I've got Adobe Illustrator pulled up here and we're gonna go file new and it's worth noting that when you create a new file and want to run the old stock actions your file needs to be CMYK if it's RGB the actions will not work so I've got CMYK uh, chosen for my color mode here I'm gonna hit OK and now the next step is to get the swatches and graphic styles into Adobe Illustrator so I'm gonna click on the swatches icon over here and that pulls up the swatches panel but I also want to show you how to access it without clicking on the icon on the right you go up to a window at the very top here and you'll notice that the swatches is already checked if we uncheck it it turns it off and if we click on it it turns it back on okay so now we've got our our swatches panel open but we need to get the old stock swatches into this panel for the actions to work properly so in the right hand corner here there, you'll see a little drop down menu I'm going to go ahead and click on that and I'm going to click on open swatch library and I'm going to choose other library and now we can just locate where the old stock folder is in this case it's on my desktop so I'm going to click on the old stock folder and I'm going to click on swatches and here's old stock swatch file here so I'm going to click on that and hit open and what happens now is Illustrator opens up the swatches uh, for old stock and then, as you can see they're all listed down below here and if yours are really small you can change it by going to this little drop down menu I always like to put large thumbnail view and that just makes it a lot larger and it's easier to see so now the step is we need to get all these into the swatches panel so on a PC I'm holding down the control key and I believe on the Mac that would be the command key so I'm gonna hold down the control key and I'm gonna select the very first swatch and now I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm gonna select the very last swatch so now you can see they're all highlighted and we're gonna go to this drop down menu here and we're gonna click on the add to swatches okay so now we've got all our swatches in the swatches panel again this is very important the, the actions will not run properly if these swatches are not in the swatches panel. So now let's move on to graphic styles. Um, again I'll show you two ways to access it. Uh, clicking on the appearance icon and then clicking on graphic styles will open up the graphic styles panel and the other option is to go to window go down to graphic styles and just click on that. So now we need to get our graphic styles into the graphic styles panel. I'm going to press this uh, drop down menu here and I'm going to select open graphic style library and then I'm going to go down to other library 
and again let's locate the old stock folder and we're going to click on graphic styles and I'll click the old stock graphic styles file here okay and when yours pulls up sometimes it might be uh, condensed like this so let's expand the window out a little bit so we can see all of the graphic styles and again I'm gonna hold down the control key here and select the very first one and I'm gonna hold the shift key down and select the very last one and we're gonna click add to graphic styles and there we go now we've got our graphic styles all in the graphic styles panel then the last step again is just to go to window actions and then load the actions okay now on to step three okay for step three in my opinion is the best way to get the old stock swatches and graphic styles into Adobe Illustrator so we're gonna go ahead and open up the old stock folder here and I'm gonna open up the graphic styles folder and I'm going to select the old stock graphic styles and I'm going to go ahead and copy that and now we're going to locate the C drive on your computer and I'm going to go to program files and then Adobe and since I'm running CC I've got the Illustrator CC folder here uh, depending on which software version you're running just go ahead and locate it an example would be if you're running CS3 locate the Adobe Illustrator CS3 folder so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and click on presets and here we have all the folders for Adobe Illustrator and we want to go to graphic styles and I'm going to go ahead and paste the old stock graphic styles file into the Adobe Illustrator's uh, graphic styles folder so I'm going to go ahead and hit paste and now we've got our old stock graphic styles uh, file here in the Adobe Illustrator's graphic styles folder okay now I'm going to go ahead and minimize it go back into old stock and we're going to do the same with swatches so let's go ahead and open up the swatches in old stock I'm going to select the file here and I'm going to go ahead and copy that as well and now let's go back into the Adobe Illustrator's uh, folder here on my C drive so we're going to go ahead and locate the swatches folder and again we're gonna paste this into the appropriate folder here okay so now we've got the old stock swatches uh, file in the Adobe Illustrator swatches folder so let's go ahead and close this down and we'll pull up Adobe Illustrator and now I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file and again it's worth noting please keep the file CMYK if it's RGB the actions will not work so I've got a new file open here and now we're gonna go into the swatches panel and again you can click the icon here or go to window swatches and we're gonna click the drop down menu and we're gonna say open swatch library but instead of locating the file in the old stock folder it will be permanently put into the presets here so we locate old stock and I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that and again we have to get the swatches into the panel here and now we've got our swatches now let's do the same for graphic styles I'm going to click on graphic styles and the drop down menu open graphic styles and once again you'll notice old stock will be permanently uh, placed here in the presets so I'm going to go ahead and click on old stock expand the window here and again I'm gonna get all these graphic styles into the graphic styles panel and there you go now the only thing left to do is go into window actions and the nice thing about Illustrator is if you load any actions it'll retain those actions every time you open up Illustrator so the next tutorial we're gonna show is is talking more about what the actions panel is and how to run an action well, that concludes this tutorial on installing Old Stock's graphic styles and swatches. Thanks for watching.